Hello everyone. This is a tutorial video for a simple method for building an octahedron frame using Zen magnets. I will demonstrate the method by building this 1626 magnet octahedron which has an edge length of 20. Now edge length is just counting the number of magnets between this point and this point. The method can be used to build larger or smaller octahedra, including this 3,786 magnet octahedron with edge length 40. The frame is built from four identical triangular subunits, each with three layers. Layer 1, layer 2, and layer 3. The first layer is based on a single strand triangle with edge length that is four magnets fewer than the octahedron edge length. For an octahedron edge length of 20, we need a single strand triangle with an edge length of 16 for the first layer. So I'm measuring off eight centimeters on the centimeter ruler to give me 16 magnets along the edge of this triangle. And then on the, that's the first leg, the second leg, and the third leg <coughs> of the triangle Instead of 16 magnets, I'm going to go 15 magnets so that because the first magnet of the first leg is the last magnet of the third leg. And that's the single strand triangle. Then we surround this single strand triangle with two more triangles. just like that. The second layer is based on a single strand triangle with an edge length that is five magnets fewer than the octahedron edge length. So for an octahedron edge length of 20 we need a single strand triangle with edge length of 15 this time. The second layer is placed atop the first layer. Just like that. Then the third layer is based on a single strand triangle with an edge length that is six magnets fewer than the octahedron edge length. For an octahedron edge length of 20, we need a single strand triangle with edge length 14. And then adding this onto the layer cake, we get that. The final step then is to remove <clears throat> two layers from each corner of the triangle. So I'm going to cut off here, here, and here. And uh, looks like I cut one too many. <coughs> so when you're done, it has a tendency to curl a little bit, it doesn't matter. You have five magnets by three magnets, a rectangle on that. And
just like that, and that's the subunit. Now, to assemble the octahedron using these four triangular subunits, we need to remove these five magnets on the first layer from some of the corners. We'll remove it from one corner of this triangle from one corner of this triangle <clears throat> eventually this corner from which five have been removed is going to match up with this corner from which five have not been removed not quite yet and this corner from which five have been removed will match up with one that has not had the five removed from and then finally we need to remove it from this guy and to put it together we're gonna put this roll of five magnets into the hole created where I removed five magnets from the other one kind of push them together so that the net effect is a 5 by 5 square on that corner. And then we do the same thing with this one. and this one. And we've therefore created a new triangle from the from on the bottom that involves one leg from each of the other triangles. Then finally the top of the octahedron is going to be this piece and we're going to have to remove the five magnets from each corner on this piece. And that's a basic octahedron shape. Normally, though, the shape is built with the, the corners actually um, coming to points. And it strengthens the shape if you actually fill those in. So I'm going to show you now how, um, how to fill in the corners. Remembering that this was the last triangle that we placed, we want to join this triangle with this triangle more strongly and to do so you can run a layer of four going from top to bottom here and then a row of four going from bottom to top on both of the right sides creating a 4 by 4 square to replace that three by, or 5 by 5 square that we had before. Then the next step in order for the magnets to match up nicely is to create a 3 by 3 square just by using the same direction as before on the left side of that square going down then one magnet on the bottom and then three magnets along the right side, one on the top, and pinch it off for one in the middle. 
Now you've got a three by three corner. Then a two by two square and a one magnet to finish out the corner. Then we'll do the uh, same thing with all of the other corners on the octahedron. And then we're going to turn it over, do the same thing to the three corners that haven't yet been done. Now in this case, you might remember that these three triangles are joined, so we're going to be going horizontally instead of vertically. And that's it. The octahedron frame. Simple build, no, t no scaffolding, and very straightforward, made from four triangular subunits.